welcome back to my channel in this video we will learn about helicopter and its parts so let's get started helicopter is simply a small aircraft that moves straight up in the air using rotating blades it comes into the category of heavier than air helicopter consists of these parts in general they are one nose section it is a place where pilot sits and controls the helicopter. In some helicopters, engine is placed in the nose section. Center section. It is a place where passengers sit in a normal tourism type helicopter. In case of military or rescue helicopters, the center section differs from the usual one. In case of aerial crane lifting helicopter, the center section is empty. So there are different types of configurations available depending on the requirement. Tail boom. These are structures connecting the center section to the tail rotor of the helicopter. Tail booms in some helicopters contain pylon at the end that helps in supporting the tail rotor head. Tail skid. Tail skid is also called as tail rotor guard is present below the tail boom. It is used to prevent the tail rotor from striking the ground. This is useful when landing in terrain regions. Power Plant Helicopters use reciprocating and turboshaft engines as power plant. Most often, reciprocating engines are used because they are simple and inexpensive. Engines can be placed in nose section, in center section with horizontal or vertical alignment, or in tail boom or above the structure of the helicopter. Engine produces very high RPM which is not possible by the rotor blades to rotate because the tip speed must stay subsonic if not the retreating blade causes stalling. So what is retreating blade? If a person is standing in front of helicopter the blade coming towards him is known as advancing blade and the blade moving away from him is called as retreating blade. And stalling is the condition where helicopter cannot maintain lift. From this we can say that we need to reduce the RPM from the power plant to the main rotor hub. So we use main gearbox. Main gearbox is simply called MGB is not only used to maintain the RPM but also used to change the direction of power transmission by the use of different types of gears. In general, helical, bevel or spiral bevel gears are used here. Mast Mast is a hollow cylindrical metal shaft that connects the main gearbox with the main rotor hub and transmits power from it. And the top of the mast contains the main rotor hub. It is a component that holds the main rotor blades. As the mast transmits the power, the main rotor hub also rotates and hence the main rotor blades. Main rotor blades are connected to the main rotor hub that help in providing lift to the helicopter. We know that from Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if the main rotor blades are rotating at around 300 to 400 rpm, there will be an equal and opposite force developed that causes the helicopter body to spin irrespectively. So to compensate the spinning of helicopter, we use tail rotor blades. Tail rotor blade. Tail rotor blades provide an opposing motion to counteract the force of main rotor blade and maintain stability. Tail rotor hub. Tail rotor blades are attached to the tail rotor hub. And as the tail rotor hub rotates, the tail rotor blades will also rotate. Tail gearbox. Tail rotor blades should run at higher RPM than the main rotor blades as they are smaller in size. On an average, they run 4 to 5 times faster than the main rotor blades. Pylon. Pylon is a structural member with an inclination at the end of the tail boom. Since there is a direction change, an intermediate gearbox is used here which changes the direction of motion but does not reduce the power transmitted through it. Landing gear configuration 
Some helicopters have landing gear configuration same as that of airplanes and some have skid configuration. As discussed before, we know that power is transmitted from the power plant to the main rotor blades with the help of main gear box. But what about the power required by the tail rotor blades? This is transmitted with the help of tail drive shaft. So tail drive shaft is used to transfer the power obtained from the power plant to the tail rotor hub. Even this power is transmitted with the help of main gearbox. Intermediate gearbox or IGB. It is available if the helicopter contains pylon in it. As discussed before, pylon is an inclination at the end of the tail boom. So, a directional change in the transmission of power is required. So, IGB is used to change the direction of power transmission. The power transmitted through the IGB will be the same. Fuel tank. It is mainly placed in the center section of the helicopter. Swash plate. It is a device that helps in directing the helicopter by taking the input from the helicopter controls. It contains two components, a non-rotating one at the bottom and the rotating one at the top. The rotating part of the swash plate is connected to the main rotor hub and the non-rotating part of the swash plate can be controlled with the input given by the pilot. Since both the plates are on one another, the rotating plate changes its direction and hence the direction of helicopter can be changed. Pit change rods. These are the linkages from the swash plate to the main rotor hub. These change the pitch of the main rotor blades. So these are the major parts used in the helicopter. I hope you have learned something new today. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with an interesting video soon.